What's up guys? Welcome back to the DLB Daily and welcome back to my garage gym. I know it's sad. We're still in the garage, but it's not a sad day because it's leg day. And I don't know about you, but I've actually really, even more than delts, I've really been enjoying the dumbbell only leg day. So it's just a couple dumbbells that we need and a lot of jumping around. So spread out, get some room because you're going to need it. Let's go. We're starting off with butts. I don't know if you've been noticing that lately, but I, I usually, I used to like save glutes like kind of for the end, but now I'm really enjoying firing them up before we get to like any types of, uh, any types of squats. So we have a little tricep bootylicious circuit for you. So if you have a, look, this is a run everything band. Uh, if you have a little booty band, if you do not, and you just have like regular bands, you can still create your own booty band, um, depending on how long it is or how, um, how the weight is, you can even triple it up to make it, this is probably the same strength. Yeah, that's about the same, just triple it up. Or if you have like one of the heavier duty ones, just do it twice. So first up is a slight change to a, our, our lateral step. So we've been doing the, the lateral shuffle with the squats. Now we're only gonna do one at a time. So we're gonna shuffle, squat, shuffle, squat. But then you're just gonna go back and forth. So let's just go individually since there's so many bootylicious exercises that we're gonna be doing. So we used to be doing five steps left, squat five times, five steps right. Now we're gonna basically stay in one spot and we're just gonna go back and forth. So I like to start in a, like a little half squat. You're gonna step as far as you can without moving this one, then step together, squat. Go back to the other side, step together, squat. Step far, step together, squat, step, step, squat. So it's 20 reps, so it's 20 steps, 20 squats. So one, two, gotcha. Ooh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, so now instead of just going five steps left, I don't know if you'll like it better or worse or if it's harder or easier. We're just gonna test it out. I made it up on the fly. Just to change, especially if you don't have a whole lot of room, this will take up a lot less room. So step as wide as you can, step together, squat. Step, squat. So 20 reps, then we're gonna go right into just a glute bridge abduction. So instead of coming down and up, we're gonna stay in a glute bridge. I like to keep my feet pretty close together. And then you're just gonna do 20 abductions so one, two, three, and you're just gonna stay up the whole time instead of going down, up, boom, down, up. So stay up, and then we're just doing 20 abductions. They're not super fast if you wanna hold for a second and then down, especially if you have a lighter band. You can hold, 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 back, hold, hold, hold and back. So 20 abductions. And then you don't really need it for this one. Maybe you can add it. If you have like the bigger rubber bands, it could work. We're just going to do kneeling donkey kicks. So leg is at a 90 degree and then you're kicking up. So up, 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 up. 20 on that leg and then you'll switch over this leg kicking straight up. I don't even know, are they called donkey kicks? Comment below if they're not called donkey kicks. I think they are. <laughs> so feet going straight up to the sky instead of, uh, where, what is this one? Glute kick. I don't know the difference between any of them. So instead of going out, you're going up. So you'll feel that in the nice meaty part of your butt. Ready to get started? We're doing three rounds, 20 reps each 
one. Fire up the glutes and then we'll get to the rest of the workout. kitchen it's really far all right now that our glutes are nice and fired up we're going to continue to use them we're going to start with a sumo squat we're using two dumbbells instead of one a lot of times when people use one dumbbell they hold it this way and then you can't go as far so if you are going to use one dumbbell like that i would elevate on like two benches or two steps but uh, because most of us probably don't have a whole lot of heavy weights and then the heaviest weight I have we have a single 50 pound dumbbell so I'm going to be using two smaller ones which would which actually this is just 35 but I'll probably work my way up to the 40s or 45s um, but then you get more weight using two when you hold it I'm actually gonna hold the back end of it just so the dumbbell is like slightly pointed down. So when you come up, you'll be able to like throw your hips forward instead of like the dumbbells being in the way if, they're, if you're holding right in the middle. So they'll be angled down this way. So what that will look like is hold towards the back. Feet are gonna be slightly outside shoulder width because it's a sumo, so you're, you're gonna be wider. And I like to point my toes slightly out hold towards the back squat down as you lift them up so they're going to be just slightly angled down so now you can like kind of throw your hips forward you're going to come down touch the one side back up squeeze throw your hips forward So you're going to be working that whole inside of your leg, really hitting those adductor muscles. Right after that is where we go into part of the torture, which is a jumping sumo. 
with two pulses. So now that we already all exhausted our legs, now we're gonna drop the weights and then do some plyometrics. Put this down the grass. So I start in my pulse. So on every rep, you're gonna do two pulsing squats. So I like to just start with, so this is also sumo. So same stance as you just did, slightly wider, feet out, pulse down, one, two, and then on this one, we're gonna jump up, and I like to throw my hands back, because that's what's gonna get you that elevation up. And then legs come straight, so you're not doing like a tuck jump. So up, or hands are here, and then you're gonna throw them back, so up. And then you're jumping as high as you can. When you land, land in a soft knee. So don't land with your legs straight. One, that's not gonna feel really good. So when you land, you're basically gonna come into that squat and go right into your two pulses. So what it should look like, catch my breath. Pulse, pulse, jump, pulse, pulse, jump. See how I'm already pretty much landing in the squat. So you'll land, pulse, pulse up. And then you die. So 12 to 15 with the sumo squats. And let's go with a 10 to 12. 12 if you can. If you're dying, do not die before 10. <laughs> break hang on three more rounds oh god we're gonna get shredded in this quarantine <laughs> oh my. oh yikes guys i'm sorry we have another jumping thing <laughs> and that i don't even know if that's the end of the jumping so next up we're doing uh, a front foot elevated split squat so you're very similar to like our deficit lunge where we step up and step back. You're just gonna stay in this position and then you're just coming down and up. Boom. So it's basically like a lunge but not lunging forward. And then the foot being a little bit elevated just creates more range of motion. So you can go a little bit deeper, which anytime you go a little bit deeper is going to call on the back, the posterior part of your leg. So your hamstrings and glutes. So we got 12 to 15 per leg of just up and down split squat. For a split squat, you're keeping your chest up too, and you're just coming straight down and straight up instead of like coming forward, which would be a little more hamstring. Not bad but we're gonna do a little bit quad and hamstring here. So down and up, 12 to 15 per side. You're gonna drop one of those dumbbells. So I actually don't go super heavy on this since it is uni, I was gonna say, a unilateral, one leg at a time. So I'm only gonna do like 15 to 20 pounds per dumbbell. You'll drop one of those. 
I don't know whose idea this was, but we're gonna do jumping lunges, but you're gonna hold the dumbbell uh, in a goblet. Uh, so whether that's five, 10, 15 pounds, whatever you wanna do. If you get about halfway, so this is a timed one, so instead of counting reps, we're gonna do it for 40 seconds. Doesn't seem like a lot until you start doing it. So I don't, I don't know why I said this. I don't know who made this up. So your goblet squat, this is just a, a better way when you're jumping. Uh, this one isn't really for height like the last one. You're basically just jumping enough to get your legs to switch. So starting here, switch, switch, switch. So you're not really concentrating on jumping as high as you can. And again, when you land, you're landing with a soft knee. So don't land stiff. Don't land with a straight leg. You're basically already landing into your lunge. So one more time, holding goblet here, landing soft, soft. It's gonna be a long 40 seconds. Who's ready? Raise your hand. For a second and that's okay so <laughs> I'd rather see that and like go again than stop and not go again <laughs> so I'm gonna write 30 to 40 seconds what I probably would probably have done is go until I can't go anymore with the weight I'm just thinking on the fly and then I'll drop the weight and then keep going for the rest of the time Holy shit, I, I underestimated how long 40 seconds was. Oh my God. All right, this next one is a new one for all of us. I actually did this the other day with Dan, roster runner if you don't follow him. Um, so we're putting together a dumbbell swing. Uh, so similar to a kettlebell swing. So kettlebell would go through your legs and up and the whole point of the kettlebell swing is hip drive. So you're not really bending your knees at all. Well, you bend ever so slightly, but you're gonna bring the dumbbell. Oh, I shouldn't even be showing you that way. We're not doing it that way. But a regular kettlebell swing is, it all comes from exploding the hips forward, and that's what brings the, the weight up. So we're gonna be doing it with dumbbells, uh, at our side, which will be the same thing. So you're gonna start here and then explode up. When they get to the top, we're gonna set them on our shoulders right into a squat. So it's a combo movement, um, alternating back and forth. So once, I guess I could just do it from here. 
So we're gonna swing, swing up to our shoulders, squat, and then bring them down, swing up to your shoulders, bring them back down. So hip drive and squat. But what it will look like actually with dumbbells, I'm gonna start pretty light. Uh, and for me, uh, if you want, I'm actually gonna elevate my heels a little bit because it helps me with my squat. Uh, I'm not a very good uh, front squatter because I tend to like fall over. I can't, I don't know. I don't know if it's mobility in my ankle or what. So I'm gonna elevate my heels just to make it a little bit easier so I can go all the way down. So I'm just gonna step on the grass. If you wanna just grab little plates and put underneath your heels, that's totally fine. Ooh. So we'll start our swing. Oop, oop, oop. I spread my feet out as if I'm gonna squat. Hip drive, squat down, up, oh. up. Make sense? So explode those hips forward and you basically just, your arms are just like a pendulum and they're just gonna go up. You don't have to do any kind of like front raise, just explode those hips and your arms will come up and then drop them back down into a squat. There's a lot. We still got like one more thing. when you thought the jumping was over it's not <laughs> so final final two exercises so we're doing a, a single leg deadlift um, with a Bulgarian one and a half rep jump squat so only three rounds it's not four so there's that for you <laughs> three rounds 12 reps of each all right, so for the uh, deadlift, single leg deadlift, the biggest thing here is keeping this knee slightly bent. And then as you come down, you're gonna bring the dumbbells basically right to your feet. The opposite leg is gonna kick straight out. So I'll actually show you with this leg instead. So you're gonna come down and then out. The you're gonna flex your feet. I can't think of words right now. So instead of like pointing your toe this way, you're gonna flex. So it's just gonna add just a little bit more stretch. Um, and then you'll get a little good stretch right here through your Achilles and the back of your knee. So with dumbbells, it look like this. So balance is like a big thing here. And that's what I've been working on. If you're really, really struggling and you can't get through any of these reps, you'll drop one and maybe just stand like next to, this is probably not a good idea, but just hold on to like something so you can go down with one and then back up. So you can actually like really concentrate. But I'm working on balance, guys. Working on things. So down and up. And kick back. I like to just kind of, just is just, just ever so slightly, I like to tap my foot just to reassure myself and then it just helps with balance. Um, if you really want to work with balance, you can 
come forward, ooh, come down, come up, and then bring your knee up. But we're gonna keep it simple, guys. Out, stretch, flex your toe, up. Out, stretch, flex your toe. <clears throat> cool, that'll do 12, 10 to 12 on each leg. Then you'll come to here, drop the weights. Don't need weights for this guy. And single leg Bulgarian one and a half rep with a jump. So you're in your Bulgarian, you're gonna go all the way down, come up halfway, back down, and jump. It's not a big jump, just a little hop, just to like get off the floor. So down, up, down, hop, down, up, down, hop. Again, I might regret this. <laughs> made that up not me I would never do that to you guys I'm just going along with it I'm just kidding I made it <laughs> oh my god that was terrible terrible but good so ah I know we guys we are still at home we're still going through this still just hanging out with a couple dumbbells we got no equipment but you can still wreck yourself obviously with little to no equipment. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this workout. As much as it sucked when you get it done, it just feels so good. So good job today. If you already did it, way to go. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching.